Okay, look at this. Wow, look at that background. Very different. All right, let's have a look at the new killer. Where is he? There he is, look at that. The Singularity. The Singularity is a relentless killer able to launch biopods to move quickly across the map. His personal perks, genetic limits, forced hesitation, and machine learning allow him to exhaust newly healed survivors, hinder anyone close to a newly injured survivor, and compromise generators. Right, let's see him. Let's see what he looks like. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, he looks so weird. He's very, like, he's more hunched over than I thought he would be. Wow, that is very peculiar, isn't it? Wow, okay. That portrait's very different to what we've seen before. Very interesting, right. Let's read about his uh, perks. There's his, there's his picture there, looks very good. Okay, so he has a standard terror radius, normal speed. Okay, so we've got genetic limits. When a survivor finishes the healing action, they suffer the exhausted status effect for 32 seconds. Pretty good. Very simple, but we'll have to see how that plays out. Forced hesitation. When a survivor is put into the dying state by any means, all other survivors standing within a 16 meter range around them suffer the hindered status effect for 10 seconds, reducing their movement speed by 15%. Then it has a 40 second cooldown. Okay. And the last one is machine learning. After performing the damage generator action, this perk activates. While this perk is active, the next generator you damage will be compromised until it is completed. The generator is highlighted in yellow. When the compromised generator is completed, you become undetectable and gain 7% haste for 30 seconds. If you damage a generator while another generator is compromised, the compromised generator becomes the, last, the latest one damaged. Okay, we'll have to see how that plays out. Interesting. All right. And there's his story there. That's a, that's a very long backstory. Okay, and I'll go over the power in my Power Explain video, which will be coming out soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's see the new survivor. There he is. Gabriel Soma. A resourceful engineer ready to make the most out of any situation. His personal perks, Troubleshooter, made for this, and Scavenger, help him see things during a chase, gain endurance after healing survivors, and recharge his toolbox. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see him. Very cool. He has menu music as well. That's nice. Very cool. Right, let's, let's see his perks here. Troubleshooter. When you are chased by the killer, Troubleshooter activates. You see the aura of the generator with the most progress. You see the aura of the killer for 6 seconds after dropping a pallet. The effect lasts for 10 seconds after being in chase, then deactivates. Okay, that's, that's, that seems like it could be useful. Then we've got Made for This. Made for This activates while you are in the injured state. You run 3% faster. After you finish healing another survivor, gain the endurance state effect for 10 seconds. Hmm, interesting, okay. You have to see how that works out with the numbers and stuff, but it seems like it could be okay that the extra 3% might help. And then the last one, Scavenger. While you're holding an empty toolbox, Scavenger activates. Succeeding a great skill check while repairing gains one token up to four. When you reach maximum tokens, lose all tokens and automatically recharge your toolbox to full. It's disabled for the remainder of the trial after recharging a toolbox. Okay. So it's like built to last, but only for toolboxes and you can only use it once. Yeah, it seems like, it, I mean, it could work. We'll have to see how it plays out in game.